Shotgun formation for Matthews. Puts a receiver in motion, takes a snap. Hand off, that's a fumble on the play. Tigers have got it. There he goes. A fragile Tyson. No one's going to catch him. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, EWC. Al Frederick Tyson on the fumble recovery, and the Tigers are right back in it. Tyson goes to pay dirt. The Tigers right back in the contest on the fumble recovery. 20 to 15. This one ain't over yet by a long shot. You're tuned in to the Greg Ruffin Show, your weekly look inside Edward Waters football. The Greg Ruffin Show is brought to you by Pepsi, the official soft drink of Edward Waters Athletics. Under Armour, the official outfitter of the Tigers. Wells Fargo, together we'll go far. UF Health Jacksonville, proud sports medicine partner of Tiger Athletics. The city of Jacksonville and Edward Waters College. To find out how you can become a Tiger, log on to www.ewc.edu. Now, along with head coach Greg Ruffin, here is the voice of the Tigers, Joshua Jackson. Late touchdown hurts the Tigers on the road this past Saturday at West Palm Beach as Edward Waters falls to Kaiser by a final score of 27-23 in their Mid-South Conference Sun Division opener. Welcome to this week's edition of the Greg Ruffin Show, Coach. Going into that fourth quarter of play, kind of seemed like you had it with less than two minutes remaining in that contest, but they were able to pop a 60-plus a yard uh, a run down that uh, right sideline, and uh, they was able to take it in, and they were able to escape with a four-point victory. Yeah, it was unfortunate. You know, we just come up. We missed the tackle. We whiffed at it, uh, you know, and uh, the kid goes 60, 70 yards down to the five. We jump off sides. They have to this to the goal. They take it in, and uh, – you know, we come out on the short end of a 27 to three. I mean, it kind of hurts to lose by four points when, you know, you fought so valiantly to to get the game back within your grasp. And uh, just, you know, hey, it's just, it's the growing pains of a young uh, program. And uh, you know, we just got to do a better job. You know, going down the stretch. I think you know if we if we could have just got that last first down on that drive, uh, that holding penalty really took took some life out of us. We were able to get most of the yards back, but if we don't get the holding penalty, we actually get the first down and we put them in a situation where they, they got to use their last time out and we're not sitting here having this conversation right now. But, you know, I told the guys, you know, you know, we, we got to stop uh, beating ourselves. That's, that's a good, you know, a good teachable moment of, you know, Edward Waters beat Edward Waters, sir. You know, and I, I, my hat's off to Doug Socia. They, they're going to have a very good, you know, up-and-coming program in this conference, you know, they got some talent. They're talented just like we are, you know, and they, they recruit just like we do. And, and, and I, I thought, you know, they had some, some players, but I just thought we had the better ball club and we came out on the short end of the stick because of some mistakes that we made. And, 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 and they, they got some momentum and, and, and they played hard. They played to the, to the whistle blue and, you know, and the clock ran out and we, we did too. And we just, unfortunately, on third and seven, we, we give up the biggie. A couple of uh, big mistakes offensively. You had a few uh, going into the game. You only turned the ball over twice. We turned the ball over three times with interception with interceptions and uh, a fumbled snap on a, a punt return or, or on a potential punt. And uh, you know, just things just kind of snowball from there. And it, despite that, going into the locker room twenty to nine, you're able to come back out like gangbusters on defense. Come right out, get two big defensive uh, stops, a ninety yard uh, uh, return from Alfred Tyson for a touchdown. You had a fumble recovery on the next play to get you inside. Uh, the 10 yard line, we were able to take that in eventually for a score and retake the lead. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just those big things and the penalties in that game as well really hurt EWC on Saturday. Yeah, because they were crucial. They came at the most inopportune time. And I think that's something that, you know, we, we got to quit, you know, making those penalties and do, doing things that is killing it with Waters. So, once again, you know, it's some of the self inflicting things that are happening to us that's not allowing us to finish football games. We're going to take our first time out when we come back. We'll have first half highlights of Edward Waters and Kaiser right after this here on The Rick Ruffin Show. This is the Pepsi that your father drank and his father drank before he met your grandmother. This is the Pepsi for this model and his mom. Hi, Cindy. Oh, hi, Brittany. Have you met Uncle Drew? This is the Pepsi that's back from the future and back for one last ride. This is the first Pepsi on the moon. What? No. no. Fine. This is the Pepsi for moonwalkers. This is the Pepsi for every generation. So how do you make it? There's Natasha's way. Be shy. Focus on yourself. 
until they focus on you. Then there's Dennis. Work with what you got to get what you don't. Or you could be like me. Dream of pro football, get hurt, dream over. So how did I get here? By being the hardest worker in the room. How are you gonna get here? From day one, we always came through for our customers. It's how we earned your trust. Until we lost it. Today, we're renewing our commitment to you. Fixing what went wrong and ending product sales goals for branch bankers. So we can focus on your satisfaction. It's a new day at Wells Fargo, but it's a lot like our first day. Wells Fargo, established 1852, re-established 2018. Welcome back to the Greg Ruffin Show. First half highlights on tap for EWC and Kaiser. It was a beautiful afternoon for football down in South Florida. Coach, a big Edward Waters contingent uh, from South Florida. They really came out and really showed the title. There's a lot of love that conference. Yeah, I was very, 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 very proud of the support that we had down there. You know, my hat goes off to, you know, all our parents, all our alumni association down there in, in that area and, and all those lettermen that, you know, that showed up that's, you know, from within a 100-mile radius. We had some guys come in and, and I think that's that's just a testament of the growth of where this thing's going. I, I think that uh, you know we're, we're asking everybody to come back to homecoming. You know, don't wait till alumni weekend in the spring. We need you back here in the fall in two weeks. You know, October the twentieth, as we bring Ivan Maria in here, we can pull this thing off with a great crowd and fan support, alumni, and we can we can have a party in here. But we 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 just you know we love the way the energy you know they fed off the energy and we just you know we're apologetic that we came up just a little bit short, but it wasn't for a lack of effort. Absolutely. First half highlights with Edward Waters and Kaiser from West Palm Beach coming up next here on the Great Reference Show.
Edward Waters down by 11, 20 to 9 at halftime down in West Palm Beach, Coach. And uh, that second quarter really got uh, the betterment of your football team there. They were able to come back with 20 points there in that second quarter. Uh, they were able to take that 11-point uh, lead going into the locker room. Yeah, I think the biggest thing was the 42-yard fumble recovery that they ran back. Uh, you know, and once again, you know, it's what we did to ourselves. And uh, we had had that problem all year. And, and it reared his ugly head uh, at the most, you know, like I say, the most inopportune time. And uh, there's some things we just got to work on. You know, like I say, we're, we're, you know, I, I've accepted the fact of who we are and what we are and, and what we got to do to kind of knock the knock the rust off certain areas of the program and, and sharpen some of our rough edges. But I, I'm still positive going forward. You know, we're 0-1 in the division, but I think that, we, you know, we're in this thing. You know, you're starting to see some parity in, in, our, in our division, you know, of course, with uh, uh, Faulkner uh, losing to Ave Maria, and you're seeing some things to say, hey, you know what, we're we're still in it. And uh, we just got to make sure that, that we control what we can, and that's how we play in the number of mistakes that we can reduce going forward as we continue to tighten the screws up on this machine and try to play some tough football. We'll take another time out. When we come back, we'll have second half highlights of Edward Waters and Kaiser right here on the Greg Reference Show. This is Norman Miller. Last year he had a heart attack and received two life-saving stents. This is Dominic Angiolillo. At UF Health, his research predicts how patients will respond to medicines after surgery. Dominic is a big reason Norman's less likely to have another heart attack, even if he never knows it. And it's invisible connections like these that help us move medicine forward with every patient we serve. I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one, get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Welcome back to the Greg Ruffin Show, Coach. Second half highlights on tap, down by 11, 20 to 9. Uh, again, going into that third quarter, wanted to come out with some momentum, and boy, they were able to do that there in the third quarter. Yeah, I think, you know, we were sitting there with about eight minutes and 36 seconds left in the, in the quarter, and, you know, there's a fumble, and uh, Tyson picks it up, and he goes 90 yards to the house, and, and it just it has got everything going right there. It got our competitive juices flowing, and, you know, I was – you know, proud of the way they responded, and then you know we come back, we get another touchdown. So you know, we're up twenty-three to twenty. You know, all the way until you know one minute left in the game. So you know, so I mean, they scored with one seventeen left in the game off a long run. They got with about one twenty-eight left in the fourth quarter, and that it was just a backbreak of a, of a seesaw game. You know, it just you know we were right there where we wanted to be. You know, in a position to win the game in the fourth quarter, and we just didn't seal the deal. Here's second half highlights of Edward Waters and Kaiser here on the Greg Ruffin Show. 
Edward Waters falls 27-23 to Kaiser. Go to 2-3 and three on the year, 0-1 in Sun Division play. Uh, coach, again, just the penalties, the turnovers, just uh, especially in that second half of play. As the time got further along into the game, every mistake got that much more magnified, and it really showed up here in that final score. Yeah, and I think our inability to, to keep our defense off the field, and, and we've got to convert and get a first down. They had one timeout left, and I think that, that would have put them away. And, you know, we just didn't do it. We didn't we didn't finish and that's some of the things that, you know, we're just gonna continue to work on as we continue to make take this reclamation project and, and move it forward. There were some injuries that happened there in that in that game, of course, there was some bumps and bruises. I saw Noodle uh, Jones, the starting quarterback, had had some injuries. You know, there's some cramps out there. So uh, uh, a little bit banged up uh, coming out of that contest there in West Palm Beach. Yeah, I think we'll be fine headed into Warner this week. I think that uh, one of the biggest things is, you know, we, we gave him some time to rest on yesterday. We didn't practice, we'll just watch film. Uh, we're gonna get after it today, Tuesday and Wednesday, and really correct some of our mistakes. And because we get to, we're we're at a position where we're so young that we do some things well one week, and then we'll come back the next week and 
and, and it's like we've never done it before. And, and so our search is, is for consistency mentally, you know, consistency, physical consistency, and, and being able to be consistent when we're tired. I think, you know, of course, with the humidity and the, and, and the way it was Saturday, I just don't think we functioned as a team. We didn't function well, uh, you know, from a consistency standpoint. The tight ends in that contest, we were really waiting for that tight end spot. We talked about in previous shows for that tight end spot to kind of step up and make some plays. But they were able to make some, some plays there on Saturday. Gabriel Dunn with some huge catches there yeah. in that contest. Some solid blocking there from uh, uh, Deontay Hale and some other tight ends there. So that, that tight end spot really beginning to come along and really begin to play a major role in this offense. Well, I think that's the key to what we want to do. Uh, you know, you know, I think you know it's one of the most, you know, in football, nobody covers a tight end. <laughs> you know, Gronkowski probably can play these 60. Nobody covers a tight end. But we got some kids that can play, and we just got to be able to put them on the field and be able to do some things that, that can, can utilize what their abilities and, and, and play to their strengths. And so it's something you'll see a lot more of going forward. And, uh, you know, we're just going to try to get better. And quickly looking at the defensive side of the ball, the past couple of weeks, that Tiger position on the team has really played well. With Boogie Mahone and Jalen Thomas have really elevated their games there on that side of the ball. Ain't no doubt about it, and we're just going to continue to hope we get to get that much more production out of that and, and then to see if we can just get better in the secondary. I think, you know, we played a little bit better in the secondary last week, probably our best game. You know, so, you know, we're starting to, to get some things and, 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 and you know, kind of solidify it over there on defense. So we just got to be able to – we just can't let, we just can't give up the big one. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, I hate it for those kids because they played a heck of a football game. And, and to be able to give that up at the end, man, you got to feel for them. But, you know, hey, that's why they call it a practice. And we, we're going to get back and, it's, you know, iron sharpens iron. We're going to continue to make sure we get our get our iron sharpened up and then see, we, see if we can't fool them one more time. Absolutely. We'll take another time out. And when we come back, we'll take a look at this week's contest down in Lakeland against the Royals of Warrior University. You're watching the Great Practice Show. Hi, I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one, get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL. This is the Pepsi that your father drank. And his father drank before he met your grandmother. This is the Pepsi for this model. And his mom. Hi, Cindy. Oh, hi, Brittany. Have you met Uncle Drew? This is the Pepsi that's back from the future. And back for one last ride. This is the first Pepsi on the moon. What? No. Fine. This is the Pepsi for moonwalkers. This is the Pepsi for every generation. From day one, we always came through for our customers. It's how we earned your trust. Until we lost it. Today, we're right. renewing our commitment to you. Fixing what went wrong and ending product sales goals for branch bankers. So we can focus on your satisfaction. It's a new day at Wells Fargo, but it's a lot like our first day. Wells Fargo, established 1852, re-established 2018. Welcome back to the Greg Ruffin Show, Coach. We get set to make the move down to Polk County as we wrap up this four-game road trip as we'll mm -hmm. take on the Royals of Warner University. Warner 0-4 on the season, but Rod Schaefer has been a, a legend down that Polk County area there as a head coach in the high school ranks. He coached at both Weber and now at Warner. Uh, they're 0-4 right now, but they've got some solid players and you know, on any given Saturday, anything can happen. And Edward Waters is not in a position where they can overlook anyone. Yeah, not at this point. Not with the mistakes we're making. I think, you know... Uh... We just gotta get get ready to play mistake free football, and I think our guys are kind of they're kind of ticked, ticked off, you know, because we know we gave one away, and you're gonna see a mad furious football team when we come out that locker room this week. Uh, you know, it's just it's, it's kind of you know, with football, you know, things come and they go, and uh, you know, Rod, I've been knowing Rod since about O two when he was the head coach at Weber. I I played him at, when I was the head coach at Shaw. Matter of fact, they were undefeated, and I gave him his only loss that year. Uh, down in uh, they came up to Raleigh to play us on homecoming. So I've uh, been knowing Rod for some years, and uh, when I got the job, he was one of the first guys to call me and say, "Well, 
you know, I, I got a, I got a plan for Elwood Waters now. It ain't gonna be what it used to be. You know what I mean? And I, and I kind of told him, I said, no, nah, it ain't gonna be the same old Elwood Waters. And we kind of joked about it. But you know, Rod's a good football coach, and uh, he's got a young football team. You can see where he's hit the reset button on this program, as uh, evidenced by the number of freshmen that they have on the roster. So. You're looking at two teams that have done pretty much the same thing, you know. There's turnover uh, from last year from our program. There's turnover, you know, from their program. So, you know, you're basically getting a whole new, you know, you know, deal in terms of, you know, the kids that are in each each program that's going at each other. And, uh, you know, we, we, we got to go down there and make sure that we keep them at, at 0 and 5. You know, that's our only – we got to be physical. You know, I'm just going to tell you, you know, we're going to go down here and, you know, we're going to be tough. You know, I'm going to make this a tough man's football game, same way we did at Cumberland, and uh, made a tough, toughest football team win. You spoke a few moments ago about the parity in this division. We talked about, you know, Ave Maria getting the upset victory over Faulkner, and we saw that Weber got their first loss of the season, and they lost to Southeastern. Southeastern's lost uh, earlier in the year. So we're seeing the parity begin to happen here in this in this, uh, in this this division. So this division is still very much, despite the fact that we lost our first uh, division game, this division is still up for grabs. Very much so, and uh, I think it just comes down to who makes the least amount of mistakes, and uh, we're poor at that right now, and uh, that's the thing that we got to correct. You know, it's not scheme, it's, it's, it's mistakes, and then it's making mistakes, and man, we make them at the darnest times. So we got to cut that out, and we're going we're gonna to focus on that and, and just tighten up our discipline a little bit, and, uh, and we'll, be ready to go. we'll be ready to go this week. And it's another opportunity for the fans to come out. We talked about how great the South Florida alumni base has been, but every time Edward Waters finds a way to Polk County, whether it's in Lake Wales or uh, Lakeland or, or Babson Park or, or wherever we're, we're playing down there in, in Polk County, that Polk County Alumni Association and those Polk County Tigers really come out to support EWC. And it's another opportunity for them to come out this weekend down in Lakeland. And it's a good opportunity for me to meet those people because, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a hands-on guy and, and I want people to know that, you know, this is your program. I'm just a caretaker of it. You know, the, you know, we want our alumni active in what we're doing. And, and it's good to be somewhere where people are excited and fired up about change. You know, and that's what this is, you know, and I, I got a chance to see that, you know, when I coached at Tuskegee, when I coached at Jackson State, you know, just the, the alumni, they was, well, they were emphatic about their team, you know, win, lose, or draw. They were just, man, they, there was just a sense of urgency of just trying to support their team. What do you need? What, you know, what what do you want? And, 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 and I think, you know, we're going to, we're getting to that, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I've been getting some, uh, some stuff from, you know, emails, you know, Joe Bunny down there, you know, and those guys, you know. Hey, coach, we listened to the game in the barbershop. You guys were right there. We're right behind you. And those, those are some of the things that you really appreciate when you come in after a tough loss and you can see where it was Tiger sitting in a barbershop listening to the football game. It just tells you people believe in what we do. They see what's going on here, and they're willing to put themselves behind it and say, hey, coach, we got your back. And at the end of the day, you know, I, I think that speaks volumes about, you know, our people and who we are here at Edward Waters College. Yeah, absolutely. Edward Waters and Warner to continue the 2018 season this coming Saturday as Edward Waters travels down to Lakeland. The game will be played at Lakeland Christian School. So come on out to uh, Lakeland Christian School to see the Tigers and the Royals get it on. 1.30 p.m. will be our kickoff. We'll go on there at 1.15 with the Pepsi pregame show on the EWC Sports Network. For the head coach, Greg Ruffin, for our floor director, Linton Megan, for all those who made this broadcast possible, I'm Joshua Jackson. We'll talk to you again next week for another episode of The Room.